There is no doubt that mobile phones have changed over the last couple of years and how. I've been saying this now for such a long time. Because of technological advancements, smartphones have helped us absolutely and totally change our lives. When the first camera phone was introduced in the early 2000s, nobody thought this technology would evolve to the point that smartphone cameras would slowly compete with high-end cameras. It's happening now. Smartphones have become such an inseparable part of our lives. What can we do without them? Now, with the rise of smartphones, many amateurs are now dabbling with their hands at photography. A hobby that was considered expensive is now available at everyone's fingertips. Smartphone photography has firmly secured its place as a medium of photography right at the top now in the 21st century. In this series, we've introduced you to different smartphone photographers, a landscape photographer, a macro photographer. This time, I'm introducing you to Amit Pandey. Who is he? He is an astrophotographer. What is astrophotography? Simply put, astrophotography is the art of shooting astronomical or celestial objects. Amit has been an avid photographer since he was a kid. He's worked with Nat Trio, Discovery, Fox Life. His love for photography and cameras led him to join the camera R&D team at Samsung Research Institute, Bangalore. He's part of the team behind the wonderful Samsung Galaxy cameras. We met Amit to know more about how he got into astrophotography. It might be niche, but there is nothing quite like astrophotography. You might have spent an entire lifetime snapping happy moments, landscapes, but night sky is truly an inspiration for everyone. And did you know that you can click stunning photographs of the night sky by just the use of a smartphone? You don't need DSLRs or high-end cameras. It, all you need is a smartphone. For Amit, it's literally capturing galaxy on a galaxy. Who spends hours looking at outer space and cherishing its beauty by capturing out of the world pictures of the night sky with just the use of his Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The Aurora Borealis, popularly known as the Northern Lights, drew him closer to astrophotography as a hobby and now he's into a full-time job with Samsung in the research and development department to ensure the giant stays ahead of the curve. The majesty of the night skies and beautiful landscapes became Amit's canvas who has been into astrophotography for over nine years now. So I was traveling, I was backpacking across Europe and at that point in time I happened to be in Iceland. Uh, during one of the instance I had, uh, you know, the first uh, instance I, I saw uh, Aurora, which is also called as Northern Lights. And I was quite surprised that something like this exists. My interest towards the astro imaging or uh, nitography completely developed because of, uh, you know, that particular moment. If I have to point that, you know, one instance back in my life or career. Uh, and since then, I have never seen down. I have been looking above and all to the stars. I have been capturing since that moment, you know, deep sky, you know, sky, you know, different configuration of planets. Amit's story is a typical example of an IIT IIM graduate turned photographer. After he found his calling in astrophotography during his trip with his friends to Iceland, he decided to pursue a full-time course in advanced photojournalism in France and certification and training courses in the US, which added heft to his portfolio. What followed next was opportunities for him in Europe, where he worked with brands like Nat Geo, Fashion TV, Discovery, Fox Life, and the Milan Fashion Week. He got his first camera at the age of 15, and since then, there has been no looking back. From fashion, wildlife, and now the astrophotography, which is a niche segment. We always have to be very sure about um, what we are going to capture. Um, you have to know the planetary position. So you need to see uh, how, you know, you have to plan your day before. Uh, that what time you, you can capture the night. You just can't go out and capture the night. You have to check the weather conditions on that day. 
if there are lightning issues around. Uh, there's also called a light pollution when we speak about astrography. Light pollution gives you know, your image uh, not up to the mark when you're talking about astrophotography. But uh, if you take these things, you know, uh, these thing, things are taken well care, such as you know, uh, no lights in surrounding, uh, clear skies, and you have a stable tripod where you can put your uh, camera, I think you are all set to go for a great astrophotography session. For our myth, photography and astrophotography is about a story through images. In fact, the long exposure star trails are sometimes taken by him, maybe while he's sleeping nearby a tent. In fact, the astro mode that he uses enhances the images as far as the night sky is concerned. Amit's use of a smartphone has helped him understand framing of shots and good compositions which throws up images that are surreal and dramatic. Uh, I feel that, you know, it's very intended because lenses and DSLRs, their technology are changing every day and we have to, you know, always uh, carry heavy, bulky, you know, uh, uh, you know, subjects and objects around with us. That's not, you know, a right thing to do. Uh, especially when you're traveling alone or you're traveling backpacking to a you know very you know barren land or a, or a close to a glacier so you always need to be uh, you know as compact uh, be light and carry things which has more features uh, in just a box and that's where the spark moon comes into the existence stars can pose a more challenging target for many camera phones as they simply lack the brightness to register properly. And Amit believes that Samsung's S series have been the only one able to do the job of producing high resolution pictures. The need to create high resolution pictures and videos have driven smartphone makers and have forced them to go the extra mile. Having pushed things further to improve components like image signal processors and camera sensors which include low light modes like night panoramas, night portraits and light painting. Our latest chipset uh, which is Qualcomm Agen 2, uh, NPU has been 51% higher than the previous predecessor. And I personally feel that NPU's performance directly impacts, you know, is related to the camera and it has improved a lot. So the people who are planning uh, pro photography or a computational photography, uh, it's really good for them. Uh, it, it adds a lot of value to the entire imaging, processing and, you know, store, quick storage. Since astrophotography is in a league of its own, Samsung's latest innovation has been a boon to many who take up astrophotography either as a hobby or as a profession. One of the amazing instances which I had is I went for a backpacking tour and uh, to myself, you know, to, for everyone's surprise that backpacking tour was in Pakistan, yeah. So I was going through yeah, uh, a very remote location near Islamabad and that was the time when, you know, uh, I happened to take one of the best images and I did a shoot over there um, over a period of like three and a half hours, uh, multiple astrolabs and astrophotography yeah, with a group of photographers from around the world. So I, I believe that's one of my best shots. Adopting an ethereal approach to his astrophotography, his night sky photographs are full of mystery and yet alluring to the eyes, capturing the majesty of the night skies and the beautiful landscapes. In Bengaluru with Kumar, Shrija for NDTV. An astrophotographer, who would have thought? Amit, this is some very, very serious skills. Amit, welcome to the show. It's a big, big pleasure. Now, my first question, obviously, is what are the features of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra that actually helps you with astrophotography? With astro imaging, uh, the only one thing I need is the Expert Raw app. Expert Raw app in Samsung is, uh, has a built-in uh, astro mode. And I also have this great feature called Astro Guide. Astro Guide helps me to locate different spatial position of planets, uh, deep sky objects, and patterns of stars. And once I locate them through Astro Guide, I can easily switch to Astro Mode and take pictures uh, based on the frame which I like. So uh, I believe that Expert Raw has all those things which I need for a great Astro image. Great, Amit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ajiv.
Snapdragon is calling all you Cell Guru fans to join their global community called Snapdragon Insiders. This gives you access to the latest scoop on Snapdragon tech, a chance to connect with the experts behind the scenes, premium experiences, exclusive contests, and so much more. Now, I'm a Snapdragon Insider. You can become one too by simply following Snapdragon on their Twitter and Instagram account. Also, give yourself a big chance to win a OnePlus smartphone. Simply participate in the NDTV Snapdragon contest at ndtv.com slash unleash your dreams.